Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a bit of a wardrobe Q&A or essentially closet confidential. I haven't done one of these in such a long time and I got inspired by watching one of Ruby Holly's videos. So I'm actually just going to steal the questions that she used as I thought that they were a really great way to get some insight into the things in my wardrobe I've had the most, that have worn the best, that I think are great value for money and that I absolutely love. I'm gonna dive right into it and answer all of these questions. And if you have any others that you wanna ask, then leave them in the comments below. Additionally, I thought I would just quickly mention, I hope the audio is improved. I have invested in a little lapel microphone, so hoping that the sound is much better for you, especially if you're listening on headphones. So the first question is, what is the oldest item in your wardrobe? And I'm gonna say probably the oldest item I own would be something that belonged to my mum. I have this leather jacket and trouser combo, which is in this warm, rich, tan color, uh, which she wore in the 80s, but I thought I would just focus on items that are my own. So the first thing, I've got two, because I can't remember which ones I got first, are these pointer for Karen Walker loafers. They're in a navy suede, and they just have a little leather stitched trim around the edges and little tassels. I absolutely adore these shoes. Um, honestly, they are something I've had for many, many years. I feel like they go with so many outfits. The silhouette of them is lovely. I actually also own them in the tan. However, they're a little bit too small for me. So these have been a favorite. Uh, maybe I can put some photos on screen of me wearing them many moons ago. So that was the first item that was one of my oldest, the other one, which as I said, I can't remember which one is which, is also from the same brand, from Karen Walker, this pale gray pencil skirt. So this is almost like a mini pencil skirt and I love the fact that it's a cotton linen mix. Um, this is just so pretty in the spring summertime and it has this sort of elasticated bow detail here at the waist. Um, I absolutely love this and it was something that I actually wore a lot to the office as well despite the length. Uh, you can tell they're pretty lenient where I was. <laughs> despite being uh, in a very corporate setting. So that is probably the other oldest item. The next question was, what is the newest addition to your wardrobe? So other end of the spectrum. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you're not, it's Mademoiselle Gem, if you would like to go and follow me over there. I did share my most recent wardrobe addition or purchase that I made myself, which is this really lovely coffee blossom printed dress from Matteo. Matteo is probably one of my favorite Australian brands. It's very similar to Mal in terms of doing these very beautiful floaty kind of dresses, which is a New Zealand brand that I also adore. Um, but I will say it is such an investment. These are very expensive dresses, but they are very well made. And I kind of bought this with the intention of it being in my closet for a very, very, very long time. Uh, I do have the black version of this dress, but not the backless one, uh, which I wore a lot throughout my pregnancy and through last summer. And you may recall me styling that up a lot. And I had wanted to buy the backless version as well. So I thought I would just go for it when I saw this color. I, I love the print on me. I just think it's really nice and warm and it's gonna be just a delight to wear this during the summer months for sure. Uh, I have gotten a few questions about what kind of bra you can wear with it. Can't really wear one. You could wear those little uh, stick on nippies. I will leave a link to the ones that I think are the best down in the description box below, or maybe just uh, chicken fillets. I'm not sure, I've never tried those. I would just go braless with a dress like that. Then I actually wanted to share, um, you can kind of see I've got a very similar one from Lee Matthews, which is another Australian brand. Um, then the other kind of new in item to my wardrobe, which was actually a gifted piece, but I thought I'd just highlight it anyway, is this beautiful trench from Low Classic. And I mean, I like the fact that this is super oversized right down to the sleeves all through the body. And it's got this kind of suede effect to the cotton. So I actually think it might be waterproof. It kind of has that feel to it. I don't know if you've ever, ever felt a dry as a bone jacket. I used to have one as a kid. My dad bought one for me and it kind of reminds me a little bit of the texture of that. So I get a feeling that it probably is waterproof, but I just thought such a classic piece. And if you're in the market for a trench coat at the moment, this one's worth looking at. Uh, I do have a discount code as well, actually, from W Concept. So uh, it's Mademoiselle 10 uh, if you wanted to buy anything from there. All right, next question is, what is the most expensive item in my wardrobe? And that is definitely an accessory. If you saw last Sunday's video, then you'll probably know what it is. It's a Chanel bag. Um, I figure it's either gotta be my vintage classic flap or else my small boy bag. Um, they both cost me about the same amount of money, so 
yeah, vintage Chanel. I absolutely adore this bag. If I was to condense my wardrobe down and just have a handful of bags, this would be one of the ones that I would keep for sure. Just kind of elevates an outfit. <laughs> then when it comes to the least expensive item and one that I get a lot of wear out of that I would really recommend, I would say, uh, it's kind of hard for me to pick um, out of my closet, but I would probably say these Pima Micro Rib Tanks from Everlane. I have this in three colors, the white, the gray, and the black, and they're such a fantastic layering piece. I actually also just like wearing them on their own. I just think they're a very easy option to wear, particularly when it's a hot day. They look really good with jeans actually. It's a little cardigan thrown over the top. So I think those are such incredible value for money. Otherwise, the other item I would say would be these Arquette tees. I think these are 20 US dollars, so um, not super expensive in the realm of cotton tees. I think if you're looking for one that is affordable and isn't too heavyweight, so as you can see, this creamy colored one is slightly sheer, then this is a great option. They also do a thicker one. Uniqlo is another place to go for great t-shirts. All right, so next question is the biggest bargain. And it was funny because when I was going through my closet, I picked out an item which I thought was the biggest bargain and I remembered I had another one. So I've got two that I'm going to show you. I'll share the first one that I immediately thought of and it's this Celine Marinier. Uh, I was so thrilled to bits when I came across this. It's actually new Celine, so um, one of Hetty's designs. It's in a navy and then it's just got the white stripe and I've been looking for something like this to add to my closet for a while uh, in a knitted fabric and this to me is just a really classic piece something I'll have for years. I really like the fact that it's got these little buttons on the collar as well just makes it look a little bit different and then the other one I mean I still can't believe that I managed to find this skirt actually unbelievable. Um, oh and I think I paid about $200 for that knit so I thought that was a really good good price. The Steal of the century for me was this Chanel boucle skirt and I can't remember which season it was from. I think it might have been 2015 autumn winter. Um, I'll pop some photos up on screen. I got this for about 550 Australian dollars which I think is unbelievable considering how much it costs to buy a piece of Chanel ready to wear. It is in immaculate condition. There is no kind of pilling up or anything like that. There's no no deterioration to the quality of this piece at all. It is just such a beautiful skirt. And I mean, if you've been following me for a long time, you will know how much I love this particular style of skirt. So honestly, just one of those, I still can't believe that I managed to come across this. I actually kind of have been saving this one for next year, just because I was a little bit worried about it, maybe getting spat up on or getting baby food all over it. Uh, and I really want to take care of this particular item. All right, next one is the biggest waste of money. and. I think this is probably gonna come as a surprise. I mean, I'm glad that I purchased this item, but I know I didn't need it. And so from that perspective, the fact that I don't particularly wear this style of item loads, I think it was a waste of money. It was just a, a it was just one of those things that I bought because I'd had it on my wish list for a very long time. It is my Balenciaga leather jacket <laughs> now. Um, I talked about this earlier. I talked about this in an earlier video, how I had been wanting to get one of these Balenciaga leather jackets for so long. When I bought my Acne Studios one many years ago, I had actually thought about buying this particular jacket, uh, but it was over a thousand dollars more and I just could not justify it. I didn't earn a lot of money. I could barely afford to buy the Acne Studios leather jacket. So it was just out of the question. I ended up finding this on eBay for less than a quarter of the retail price, which I think is incredibly good value for money from that perspective because it is so impeccably well made. I mean, the leather is really substantial. It is so nice and buttery and smooth. Uh, it just, it feels like quality, <laughs> but I don't tend to wear leather jackets very often. Even the All Saints one, which I have, which is beautiful and I highly recommend it. That one I barely wear. And I am wondering if perhaps it's a lifestyle thing. So this isn't something that I'm gonna part ways with. It's not something I'm about to declutter, but I think from the perspective of already having a leather jacket that I don't wear loads, buying a second one, probably not the best purchase decision. But that said, I am still happy that I managed to get my hands on it and I do love it as an item. I love the way it looks on me. But yeah, I thought 
you know, I would just share that because <laughs> I think we're all kind of guilty of buying things like that that we maybe already have one too many of, but you really just couldn't help yourself, which was definitely me in that situation. Okay. Um, I'll be a lot quicker with the next question. Five items I can't live without. I bet you'll probably have guessed a few of them. First one I'm going to mention is my Joseph roll neck sweater. You'll have seen this a million times. I adore this thing. I am so glad I added it to my wardrobe. It is just beautiful. Item number two, my Dr. Denim high-waisted skinny jeans. Again, I wore these so much. I mean, I've gotten so much wear out of these in the six years that I've had them. They've held up so well. Haven't gotten a hole in them or anything yet. So knock on wood, um, but they, they fit me again. They're not hundred percent the way they fit me before, but I mean, that's kind of to be expected. I did have a baby. <laughs> then item number three is a good Breton striped top. And actually the one I really like is this men's one from Uniqlo. It's hundred percent cotton. I like the fact that there is this gap at the top, which you don't get with all striped tops. Uh, and yeah, it's just a really nice oversized boxy fit. Item number four, is a coat and while I think from a practicality point of view I would say my Everlane Rewool coat is is definitely tops goes with everything I think the one that I would miss the most if I couldn't pick it would be my Kinder Salmon coat and I absolutely adore this I just think it is so beautiful it is just such a lovely color I mean I adore this oatmeal color and the fact that you've got that contrasting almost like a teddy beige on the collar as well and it's just such a beautiful length on me I feel like a million dollars when I wear it and then a pair of shoes which would be my Charlotte Olympia kitty flats and I've owned these shoes for eight years this is my second pair which Luke got me for Christmas a few years ago because I wore my other ones to death I just love these they make me smile when I put them on and I love them as much as the day that I went to the Charlotte Olympia store in London to pick up the pair I had or online three months prior. So yeah, I, I couldn't be without these shoes. They're definitely one of my favorites. The next question is which item holds the best memories? And I'm gonna be so cliche and just say the two dresses that I wore when I got married to Luke. I mean, that day holds so many incredibly beautiful memories for me. I get quite overwhelmed with emotion thinking about it. I love that we can still go back to the grounds of Alexandria, which is where we got married to have lunch that we can take our son there because it's so you know it's relatively convenient for us to get to uh, it just yeah to me that was just such a magical day and uh yeah my dresses just make me think of it all over again okay next question is my favorite summer dresses and i think this is because ruby was doing hers around spring or summertime which is same here so i've got two dresses here, well three technically uh the first one i thought i would mention is the noni dress from mlm label and I have it in two colors. They're both slightly different lengths. This is a new version, which has this really pretty warm toned um, tropical floral. And I love that. I just think it's such a nice kind of tiered style. And this is perfect if you're pregnant or expecting as well, actually, because I wore my white one all throughout my pregnancy and it fit me right up to the end. It's just such a lovely kind of white maxi. Uh, you probably will have seen me wear this a couple of times, but just so comfortable. Obviously not the most convenient right now as I'm nursing, but definitely my favorites. I also love my Mato and Mal Ted dresses. Those ones are a no brainer and I cannot wait to wear them again this summer. And the other one I wanted to mention is my Portman's black linen ruffle dress. This is a dupe for the Isabel Morant dress and I love it. I love the way this looks on me. It has this tie detail at the waist which sort of knits you in. It's just so beautiful and being linen it is very comfortable to wear as well. Oh, next one is item I should get rid of but I just can't and you know what if my friend Allison is watching she is going to probably message me after this and say yes you should sell it to me. <laughs> it is this really really fun bubblegum pink coat from Karen Walker. Uh, it has this really pretty little Peter Pan collar and then it just zips right down the front and the sleeves are quite oversized. Now I had had my eye on this for so many years and when I finally saw it come up on eBay I decided to just go for it despite knowing that the color isn't really typically something I would wear. And I get filled with joy every single time I look at it because it is such a fun vibrant shade but it just isn't practically something that I would wear often so I'm torn because I know that I'm not going to really wear it but I don't want to part ways with it because 
it is such a special coat and it took me so long to find it. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. I'm sure you guys have stuff like this in your closet as well. <laughs> All right, next question is based around my favorite shoes. And you know what? There's really just one pair that I want to mention that aren't my Charlotte Olympia Kitty Flats. My Benelli two-tone pumps. If you didn't see this coming, where have you been? <laughs> These are hands down one of the best pairs of shoes I have in my closet. And I have them in three colors. I've got this charcoal uh, felted wool, which I adore with the black suede toe cap. I have them in the beige and black and then I also have them on the black on black version as well and I mean they're just such a comfortable shoe, really versatile, they elevate an outfit, I mean they're so chic, great dupe for the Chanel two-tone pumps and they're reasonably priced as well. Often they go on sale too. Um, there's a few different places you can buy them. I will leave all the different alternatives linked in the description box below. Next question is most worn item and Honestly, most worn item would probably be my Eveline uh, day gloves in the Renit fabric or else probably my Eveline court sneakers because I've been wearing those every single day to go walking in. But I wanted to talk about things that to me um, I've been getting a lot of use out of, especially recently. Uh, so one being my Eveline alpaca knit sweater. I love this thing. <laughs> it is, you know, one of my favorite sweaters. It's easy to care for because you can launder it on a uh, delicate setting, cold wash. Um, very easy to kind of look after that way. It is so snugly and warm, goes with everything. You can dress it up, dress it down, love it. The other item is a pair of linen trousers and I'm just really getting into wearing trousers a lot more recently, probably noticed. Uh, and the pair I wanted to kind of highlight are these ones from Assembly Label. I got these when I was pregnant. I got them when I was around 12 weeks pregnant and I was able to wear them through quite a considerable chunk of my pregnancy and also able to wear them straight away after I gave birth, which was really handy. Sizing on them is really big. I got the AU8, which is my usual size, and they fit like a 10. So I would say size down if you want them to fit you nicely at the waist or just go with your regular size if you want to have a bit of room you know if you want to go to the buffet when you're wearing them or you just want them to be really relaxed fitting uh second to last question is most worn denim and I think it goes without saying that's my Dr. Denim jeans. So instead I just wanted to talk about two other denim brands which I think do jeans really well. Um, actually sorry three. Madewell is one of them which you've probably seen. I've got those 10 inch skinny jeans which I wear a lot. Um, I think those are in the wash actually. <laughs> then the next brand is Eveline. Um, I've got here their authentic stretch. These, This particular color unfortunately is old so it's sold out but they do have similar ones I've got the white jeans as well which are fab uh, and then finally Arquette my goodness Arquette is just a treasure trove I feel like you get such good value for money with everything I've bought from there and I really love their denim this is 99% uh, organic cotton and then 1% elastane so there's just a little bit of give to the denim but the washes they have are beautiful. The feel of it, it feels vintage, it feels substantial and thick, but it's also soft uh, and comfortable. And yeah, they've got quite, quite a few different styles. I think I've gone for the cropped ones, which are slightly cropped on me. And I'm, I'm 172 centimeters tall, but I have less than a 28 inch inseam to my ankle, for anyone curious. It's like 27. 0.8 inches or something. So yeah, and then the last one is actually my favorite accessory. And it's probably gonna be a surprise because I didn't even get a chance to wear this at all this winter just been, but I would say this ridiculously large blanket coat from Eveline, um, you probably notice a lot of my essentials come from there. Uh, this is a wool cashmere blend and I don't see it on their website at the moment, so I'm wondering if they're going to re-release it for their winter season. I might actually ask the uh, the marketing team and maybe I can put a little update in the description box below, but this is just like a blanket. I mean, look how huge this thing is. It is brilliant. This is, this is what I would pack if I was going traveling. I mean, one day in the future. <laughs> uh, it's great for car travels. It's just lovely to throw over your shoulders. I mean, 
It's so nice and soft, so snuggly and warm, and this is definitely a better investment than the Acne Studios uh, woolen scarves, which I think, while they're beautiful and they have really trendy colors, they are overpriced. Even though I've got two of them, I do think they're overpriced for what they are. Uh, and this was definitely better value for money. So yeah, that is the last thing that I wanted to talk about. I hope that you enjoyed this little wardrobe Q&A, closet confidential. It's really fun to film. And like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a while. As I mentioned earlier, any other questions, leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Always a little bit more challenging with a baby, but I definitely try to make sure I get back to everyone's comments. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you want to watch more videos like this from me, then please do make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye. Wow.